awake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright What a wild few days. Oh my goodness. Make it stop. Make it stop. No, we're doing okay. We're holding in there. Here, the generator's still going. We go to town though to get some more gas. We've been churning through the gas and we just got plowed out as you saw. So that's awesome. That's happening. Um, but yeah, and some other stuff. I had to go bail out some neighbors. I still need to go do some more stuff at some other neighbors that are, well, neighbors like a quarter half mile away neighbors making it we're making it through so right now i'm gonna go ahead to go to town to go get some uh, gas some fuel uh for the generator and the ranger try to hit the store and see if there's any like food left i don't even know what the food situation is looking like and maybe i'll hit mcdonald's like fast food like yes I haven't had fast food forever <laughs> it just sounds really good right now all right let's go get some gas get this back hopefully the, the roads uh, are fairly atrocious i'm told but i'll bring the truck four wheel drive should be good. Oh, I should make sure I have a toe strap. Yeah. All right, let's do that and get in the road. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Caught by a strange but things are fine. Wife just texted me, I guess there's quite a few gas stations that are out of fuel. Like, literally out of fuel. And a lot of places don't have milk or bread, so we'll see what we can do. We have to drive a little farther to get this, but we'll find a place that has gas. drive-by looks like Pizza Hut is not open, McDonald's is not open, Taco Bell is not open, and I don't think Wendy's is open, but we should probably double check. What about Subway? Nope. Not eating fresh today. Oop, Wendy's might be open, but I've never seen a long that line that long there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Wendy's is the only fast food restaurant open right now with at least an hour long line. So, I'm gonna say probably no.
way down the aisle. Let's see if, the, oh my goodness. What the? Oh my. Let's see how milk is looking. And gone. All the milk is gone. Unless we want some cashew milk. I'm very grateful these guys are open. Holy moly, there's just empty shelves. I've never seen it like this, but at least people can get some things. Whew, no milk. A lot of the meats are all sold out. I might try to get a ham if I can find one. They did have water though, so praise God for that. Because a lot of people need water. There's no running water uh, when your power goes out here if you have a well. panic buying going on here because they don't know when the power is going to be on. It's nice that it's on this store. It's on like at my parents' house and a few other houses, but I think there's there's at least 10,000 people without power right now, I'm told. So maybe just a wee bit of panic buying. Did what we could here. Didn't have a whole lot, but this is what I was able to get. So I would consider us very fortunate right now because things are just scary bear. So be careful all those mountains. What you want to do Hi, happy people! Happy New Year! Exhausted. I'm trying to get some spaghetti on the table. Um, he's also cooking up some air fried chicken. So we do have a generator, but you can only run certain things at certain times. So I was trying to get a lot of my pillows clean because when remember when we were out in the tent and we did the whole uh, Christmas Eve with the wood stove inside there, it made our pillows smell very much of smoke. So I needed to get those clean for us to have pillows on our beds. We've been sleeping without pillows for a little bit. A couple days, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, oh man, I really need to try to get those washed. So I washed them, 
but I wasn't able to use my dryer. So I've been makeshifting over by our fireplace. Let me show you. Makeshifting over here uh, and just laying some stuff out and then putting our pillows by the fire just so they can kind of get dried. So I've just been alternating, alternating a little bit, doing a little flip action. So we do have generator, but it's not a full house generator, so it can't operate everything. But I'm super grateful for what it does operate because, uh, dude, we have like Christmas lights going over here. We probably should pull it, unplug these. Hello? Yeah, they don't draw a lot of juice. They don't? No. Okay. Right. Okay. Keep Christmas alive. Keep Christmas alive. Um, so you can kind of tell our lights are a little bit, they're a little bit flickery right now. Um, but I'm trying to do spaghetti, so we're going to do one pot at a time. Um, so I'm trying to boil the water right now, and then I'm going to cook the meat. We might head on over to Bert's family's house, right? Yeah. They're not plowed out yet, so that's what's kind of our hesitation a little bit. But we don't have hot water yet. The other thing is hot water. We have electric hot water. Gosh, look at it all flickering. Right? Sorry if this footage is bad. <laughs> we, we have electric hot water heaters, so we can like heat up one of them. We have turned all the power off to do it. Right. It'd be nice to get a bigger generator, but it's like in the $10,000 range to run your house. They're very expensive. So someday, maybe, someday, maybe. We're making it through. We're doing we a lot are. better than most people. People are leaving their houses right people now. People are leaving their houses it's right now and going crazy. to like other family members that have heat and water. Some people were like, they don't know necessarily where they're gonna go. Like they might have to go to like stores, like Fred yeah. Meyer. Walmart's closing early today though. I think almost all of them close at seven. Well, I showed them on like, there's only one fast food restaurant. Everything else is closed. People are freaking out, trying to get food. They're throwing stuff in carts. So crazy. So it's oh. so important to be at least a little bit prepared. I feel like we weren't as prepared as probably like what we would normally be prepared. And I think because it hit like at the holidays, everyone was so focused on like holiday action yeah. that we're like, oh yeah, storm's coming. Ah, you know, we've seen snow. We've seen, this is very different than what we, I was not. Well, and then gas. You, you told me that places were sold out of gas. Places were sold out of gas, gas to Soro and yep. Sourdough, I think. I was able to go to Badger Gas. Go to Badger Gas, we so were able to get that. So many places are out of milk and bread and all those things just because people are like, oh, we better get it because I read somewhere where they're anticipating that the power might not be back on for like another three days or so. So crazy. Oh, my water's starting to boil. You're sitting on my spaghetti, so you're going to have to move real quick here. Hold on just a second. We're gonna transfer you to the candle. Make shifting. Wow. Okay, you guys came down a lot. <laughs> but I needed the spaghetti. So anyway, we are doing we are doing well. Um, I'm grateful we were able to get plowed out. That was huge. Our little ranger just quite couldn't handle it. My friends tonight to go get the heat back on. We got friends out of town. They're like, hey, could you just check on the place every now and then? I'm like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. Didn't know that meant literally giving them like heat and uh, getting their fridges going. I went over and their power had been out since yesterday. Caught it just in time. Luckily he had a generator. I'm all hooking wire and extension cords and tying into, <laughs> to, I'm going to electrician mode. But we got their freezer and their fridge online, got their heat going. Yeah. But I still need to go hook up their unit heater. They didn't have that on a backup system. So. Oh, okay. And then like backhoes, I went and borrowed a backhoe from a friend to uh, try to go push some snow around. I still got some more of that to do. Because our plow guy was struggling yeah. at being able to get out here. Because everyone and their mother is trying to get stuff plowed. What is the roads are, oh gosh. The roads and, are deteriorating. And we're not trying to like blow this like this is bigger than it is. Yeah. This is actually, I've born a race here, I've never seen anything like this. Tons this of people much are snow. saying that. This much uh, so we got so much snow. And then we've got rain. Three quarters of thick ice, three quarter inch thick of ice. You literally could go outside around. on the roads and probably throw in a pair of ice skates and yeah. head on down the road. Because but it, it's that But it's icy. all bumpy though. Oh, it's all bumpy. Yeah, I just show them the roads. It's oh, okay. brutal. Craziness. But this is like where our community kind of pulls together though. And this is where you have this feeling of, hey, you know, let's help each other out. People down the road here a ways, there are neighbors you know we offered them a generator if they need it and they were just going to go stay at some friend's house until things warmed up they probably put the food outside um but yeah if you do have extra provisions trying to help people i went and got some stuff from mom and dad they needed some some bread so i was able to get them some while i was out yep Whew. you just gotta be Good mindful times. you know we try to show the happy things in life and the and the positive things here in alaska but this is kind of one of those things that's not so positive and to be but, fair it doesn't happen super often yeah it's probably the first time i ever it's like this is this is crazy. 
But you know, what would 2021 not be? Why wouldn't it be? We you should know, expect it by aren't now. Aren't we always looking for normal? Seems like we're always we're chasing eating. normal. The way the life uh, has been. Crazy. Oh my goodness. So are we going to eat and then maybe head to mom and dad's? Yeah, let's do that. Let's okay. get some let's get some food and we'll go to mom and dad's so we can shower and all these things. All right, so I'm going to finish up dinner. Try to get this going. Feed some people and then hover. Just put it over to mom and dad's. cloud is coming down. Falling in. brought you keto bread. We heard you were craving PB and J's. Yeah. Alright guys, well we got our showers all done. We are clean, which is amazing when you when you haven't been able to shower in a few days. When we were on our way over here, we actually saw a lineman pull down our road. They're like Hmm, and it wasn't GVA, it was like a other company. And we're like, hmm, that's so weird. And then we're over here at mom and dad's and we get a phone call and it says that our power is on. <laughs> so that is so stinking awesome. It is amazing the little things that you take for granted, like being able to wash your clothes, being able to dry your clothes, being able to take a warm shower, um, not having to be conscious about which light you turn on or which burner you use. It just is like puts everything in such a perspective. So we're so grateful that we think that our power is on. We're going to head home and hopefully check and see. But grateful that we were able to come over here and shower. Um, there are still over 10,000 people without power that is in our area right now. And they are working overtime, double time, trying to get people up and going. There's supposed to be people coming in from Anchorage to be able to help us out with the roads, the electricity, all the things. So, so grateful that we were able to um, be one of the ones to get our power on, especially this soon, because I was anticipating a long time. So, super awesome. We have pies, we have pies that were made. We had no bakes that were made. It was a good time tonight. Thank you guys for coming along with us. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. We're so grateful. We'll keep you updated kind of as maybe things roll out. Um, we are supposed to be getting another 10 inches of snow or so tonight, but hopefully we'll be able to manage that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. YouTube channel. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through.